uh, just to make this very simple, let me show you the before and after here. So I have the radio frequency shielding fabric propped up here. And you can see my exposure levels to the neighbor right here. Now watch this. As I lift it up and put it behind the fabric, you can see it almost stops. Well, it stops there. Now watch, watch when I move the meter back to the exposed window without the fabric. should be pretty clear right there. I'm going to attempt to show you what most of us are exposing ourselves to on a daily basis at our computer workstations. All right, this is my desk where I work. And I purposely turned my, my modem here, my AT&T U-verse modem, with the wireless function on. And so here's an acoustometer radio frequency meter but notice that this modem is innocently sitting here 
apparently doing nothing. However, when we turn on the radio frequency meter, it is measuring the transmission of the wireless coming out of this modem. And you can see that the peak signal strength on the left on the left column of this meter is at almost six volts per meter. That's as high as it goes. And on the right hand side, the microwatts per square meter in terms of average is sometimes peaking up at 10,000. These are extremely dangerous readings of radio frequency radiation going through my body. And most of us have our modems sitting like this at our desk or maybe at the floor somewhere near us. Now I'm, I'm going to show you this. I'm going to turn the volume up. I'm going to walk around the house. And now I'm out of my office. I'm walking into the living room. I'm going to show you the office is back in that direction through those doors. And although the reading is down a little bit on the meter, you can still see that the whole house is more or less being influenced by this radio frequency transmission. Because I don't have a cordless phone in this house. I'm going to walk into the bedroom. All right, this is where I sleep. And look at the meter. If I leave that wireless on all night, the meter is still registering roughly 0 0.30 volts per meter and about 1 to 5 microwatts per square meter. These are not high readings, but it's still going to disturb melatonin levels. It's still going to disturb my sleep. And you can hear, let me turn the volume up, you can hear the dit 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 dit, which is the frequency transmission from the wireless um, modem. And as we head back into the office here, you can see the readings picking up immediately. See that? And we're wondering why we're dizzy, nauseous, we have headaches, we have fatigue. This is, this is what we're exposing ourselves to, sitting here working on the computer with a wireless modem. All right, now as you can see here, what I've done is I've plugged my Ethernet cord. I've hardwired the modem. All right, now please, this is very, very important to understand. You can think, okay, well, I've plugged my, uh, my blue or my yellow Ethernet cord or my gray Ethernet cord, whatever color you might have. I've plugged it into the modem. And I've plugged the other side of it right here into the computer. All right, so now I'm hardwired. Everything's okay. Let me turn on the acoustometer, the radio frequency meter. I'm trying to do this left-handed, and I'm not left-handed. Well, look at this. What's that all about? The readings are still coming off the modem. Let me show you something very important here. This is the AT&T website where I need to go to actually disable the modem. So I go up here, I turn it off, I save it, and now look what happens to the acoustometer. It's still on, have the volume all the way up, and there's no reading. See now the wireless modem is disabled. Now I'm being free of being exposed to dangerous radio frequency radiation. And this is very important to understand. If I want the wireless function 
on the modem, I just go back here and I enable the wireless operation and I save it and the wireless will go back on. So please don't think that with your modem, just because you have an Ethernet cord plugged into it, that the wireless function is disabled. It's very important to disable the wireless function through the software or you need to call your internet service provider and ask them how to do it. However, once again, as you can see, there's no reading on the acoustometer from the modem. Let me see if I can do this left-handed. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to turn the I'm going to enable the wireless. I'm going to save it. And look at that. Even though I have an Ethernet cable plugged into it, Ethernet cord, the radio frequency meter is showing extremely dangerous levels of RF radiation coming out of the modem. So to make a long story short, plug your wireless modem into an Ethernet cord, plug the Ethernet cord into your computer, and make sure that you call your internet service provider, or maybe you know how to do it, and disable the wireless function on the modem. This will really help your health in, in a large way. It'll help your sleep. Um, I can't emphasize this enough.